In this episode, I go over my new to me Engel E830 power amp. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and yesterday was such a great day. Uh, I ended up going to my local shop, which is Parkway Music in Clifton Park, New York. I will put a link below to their website. So I walk in there, and uh, <laughs> they've had this Engel 830 power amp, 5050 stereo uh, power amp for, for a while now. So much so that you know, whenever I would walk in there just to see what they had gotten in, um, I would just see it there. And, you know, it's one of those things where people just really aren't interested in racks the way they used to years ago. Uh, but of course, Engel being Engel, you know, all of their amps always sound incredible. So I walk in there and, you know, keep in mind that my rack systems are here, you know, like I have all of my preamps in huge cases, whether it's the 12 uh, U case or the six, you know, so I, I walk in there and uh, I, I talked to the owner, one of the owners, Matt, and, um, and I was just like, Hey, you know, I'm kind of in a little dilemma because I really want to try this power amp, but all of my uh, preamps are in these giant rack, you know, enclosures. And it would just be kind of tough to just unload it out of my house put it in my truck, drive it over to the guitar shop, you know, wheel it in. And it's just, you know, it's just a, a crazy show um, for me to just try this one power amp. So, uh, so I was just like, can I borrow it for a day? And, you know, that way I could take it home and try it out and see how it is. And he's like, yeah, sure. So I take it out, whatever, and bring it home and, you know, it's one of those things where you're just always hopeful that it works well. And uh, I knew that I wanted to pair it with my my Osnikov Super Lead Overdrive uh, SLO um, clone. So I immediately open up one rack. I connect the Engel power amp to it. I dial it in and I start playing and it completely rips. Now keep in mind that I had told the owner that I would be back the next day. I literally got back in my car, drove over there. I'm just like, okay, uh, <laughs> I'll pay for it now. And because it's a two space uh, power amp and I don't really have anything small other than this two, this Gator, uh, which is a two space, I went upstairs to their, you know, where they have all of their mixing boards, their drum gear. It's kind of like everything else that isn't uh, downstairs guitar. I can't say that it's not guitar related, but, you know, everything downstairs is all guitars, basses, amps, and upstairs is uh, drums, uh, racks, um, mixers, microphones, and everything else that you can think of. So I went upstairs, and sure enough, they actually had one thing I was looking for was a similar Gator um, travel bag as a four space. So I ended up getting the four space rack and bought one of these extra plates to put in there because the angle takes up two spaces, the Soldano uh, or the Mayaskinov, uh, Mayasnikov Soldano clone takes up one, figured I don't like spaces. So I threw that one in there and um, I'm running it out of my or with my boss super overdrive, dude, is it, it is an absolute monster, a monster, dude. And this is the one thing that I love because, you know, I, of course, like you guys, I love buying amps. I love seeing how well I'm able to dial them in to find the tone that I have in my mind with the flavor of that amp, whether it's Marshall, Mesa, uh, Bogner, 
Randall, Peavy, whatever it is, I'm always trying to find that one tone and, uh, you know, always using the flavor that that amp brings to the table. So I already knew that I love the Myasnikov super lead. Uh, again, huge shout out to my boy, Matt Stewart, who was just like, bro, order it. You're going to absolutely love it. So if it weren't for him, I wouldn't have it. So huge shout out to Matt. And um, dude, this Angle Power Amp. If you guys have ever thought about getting into racks, I am telling you, you guys have to. There's so many things that you can do. It's just ridiculous. And yes, it's not that, listen, it's going to cost you a bit right out of the gate to get an enclosure, to get a preamp and your favorite power amp. But once you have that, it's literally just upgrading to different power amps. And, you know, you can literally, instead of buying all of these pedals for 280 bucks, 300 bucks, you can get a used preamp rack for a hundred, 150, um, and that's used, you know, go to eBay, go to reverb, you'll find things all over the place. Um, so for the price of a pedal, you literally end up with a new preamp that you can throw in your rack. And then of course, after some time you start going crazy and you just get larger enclosures and, <laughs> and more power amps, more preamps. Um, but you know, you, you're able to just upgrade everything and try new things without it costing you an arm and a leg. You know, you can even get the synergy gear, get the, the synergy one rack, right. And get two different, um, uh, modules in there and then just run it out of your, whichever power amp you guys decide to, to run. So, all right. So in this video, I'm actually going to be using my 2013. I don't even know how I found this. Um, uh, 2013 mint condition LTD. Um, this is the JH 600, the Jeff Henneman model. Um, and it's just mind blowing how incredible this, this guitar is. So let me set this up now. Do, do, do. I'm using a sure wireless system, which is in my back pocket. It's in my pocket. All right. <clears throat> Let's turn that on. It is the right.
So guys, there you have it. The Engel 830 power amp, which is a 50-50 stereo. And, you know, it's one of those things where, dude, you know, if you want to dabble and try something new because the amp that you have, you love, or you want to see if there's anything else that's out there, like, dude, one absolutely amazing road to travel down is with racks and it'll completely drive you nuts um but i'm super happy with this angle 830 you know it's one of those things where of course everyone that has an angle loves them and uh, i actually have a small uh 15 watt angle gig master that was my first introduction to an angle amp and that thing is an absolute monster so of course it made sense that this guy was just sitting around and needed a home and here it is um, so, uh, if you guys, again, are interested in dabbling and getting into something new, definitely by all means get into racks. Um, you can get a three space, you know, for the most part, I kind of find that most, uh, power amps take up two, at least two spaces. I have a Marshall that takes up four, but that thing is just crazy. Uh, but most take up two. So if you get yourself one preamp, uh, that's a one space rack, then, you know, you can either get yourself uh, a three, but better off getting a four. That way you can throw in anything like a BBE uh, sonic maximizer that you can use as an, as a, as a boost or an EQ that you can just throw right in there. What else? Um, you know, or a noise gate. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. If you guys have not right here, thank you so much. And as usual, this guy will talk to you soon.